Monkey wakes up, yawns like a dying walrus, and reaches for his sacred jungle potion. Coffee. One sip and bam. His eyes widen, his tail twitches, his brain yells, Let's conquer jungle today. Thirty minutes later, he's jittery, sweaty, and talking too fast about starting a banana business. An hour after that, he slumped on a log like a sad cappuccino, whispering, Why energy leave me? Monkey thinks coffee gives energy, but really it just borrows it from the future. Today, Monkey learns the science behind caffeine, why it works, why it crashes, and how to drink it without turning into a shaky squirrel. Monkey believes coffee creates energy, but that's jungle myth. Here's the truth. Coffee doesn't add energy. It blocks tiredness. Inside Monkey's brain lives a sleepy molecule called adenosine. All day, adenosine builds up. The more it stacks, the sleepier Monkey feels. But when caffeine shows up, it jumps in front of adenosine like a bouncer at a banana nightclub. Not today, sleepiness. The result? Monkey feels awake, but the adenosine is still piling up behind the scenes, waiting to hit him later. That's why when caffeine fades, Monkey crashes harder than a coconut falling from the top tree. Coffee also pulls a sneaky move on Monkey's dopamine system. Caffeine increases dopamine signaling, not as strong as sugar or scrolling, but enough to make Monkey feel rewarded for being awake. That's why he starts associating coffee with productivity, confidence, and focus. Coffee becomes his motivation button. But over time, Monkey's brain adapts. It adds more adenosine receptors to balance out the caffeine. Now, one cup doesn't hit the same. Two cups, still meh. Three cups. Now, Monkey's hands shake while he's Googling why me heart sound like drums. That's tolerance. The brain's way of saying, nice try, caffeine. Me see your tricks now. Every cup of coffee gives Monkey a sharp peak, followed by a sharp crash. Morning. Monkey drinks coffee. Energy shoots up. Midday. Adenosine punches back. Monkey feels drained. Afternoon, he drinks another coffee to survive. Evening, he's wired but tired, scrolling jungle memes until 2 a.m. Next morning, brains foggy, adenosines overloaded, and only one thing can fix it. More coffee. Monkey's not drinking caffeine anymore. Caffeine is drinking him. That's the roller coaster, up down repeat. It's not real energy, it's borrowed alertness with interest. Here's how Monkey can actually enjoy coffee without destroying his jungle rhythm. Rule number one wait 60 to 90 minutes after waking before your first cup. When Monkey wakes up, his body naturally releases cortisol to energize him. Drinking coffee too early blunts that natural rhythm, like shouting over your alarm clock. Wait an hour, and caffeine works with your body, not against it. Rule number two, no coffee after 2 p.m. Caffeine's half-life is five to six hours, meaning half of it 
is still in your blood long after sunset. Monkey thinks he's fine, but his melatonin, the sleep hormone, is blocked. He sleeps worse, wakes up groggy, and needs more coffee. Rule number three. One or two cups, max. Beyond that, monkey's stress hormones spike. Cortisol rises, heart rate jumps, focus collapses. Monkey decides to fix his energy system, jungle style. Step one, hydrate before caffeine. Monkey drinks one glass of water first. Why? Because most of his morning fatigue is just dehydration, not lack of caffeine. Step two, sunlight before coffee. Sunlight triggers cortisol and resets monkey's circadian rhythm. It tells the brain, morning now, wake up naturally. Step three, use coffee strategically. One cup before deep work, or gym time. Not every hour. Caffeine works best when it's a tool, not a crutch. Step four. Try caffeine-free days. Once a week, monkey skips coffee. The first few hours feel rough, but by afternoon, his adenosine resets. When he drinks coffee again, it hits like jungle lightning strong and clean. Step five, replace the crash. When the afternoon slump hits, monkey drinks water, stretches, or walks outside. Movement and oxygen boost alertness naturally. No crash required. Caffeine blocks adenosine, tricking monkey's brain into feeling awake. Caffeine boosts dopamine, making monkey love the illusion. Too much caffeine, messes with sleep, raises cortisol, and builds tolerance. Real energy doesn't come from the cup. It comes from balance, sleep, hydration, sunlight, and calm. Coffee's not evil. It's just a wild tool that needs respect. Monkey still loves coffee. But now he's the one driving, not the caffeine. He doesn't need five cups to feel alive, just one, timed right, and a rested brain. Because true energy doesn't come from caffeine. It comes from a well-rested monkey with a calm nervous system and a sharp focus. Monkey says, like this video, Toss him a subscribe. It keeps the bananas brewing and the jungle awake.